And honestly, the greatest teacher I've ever had has been my father. You know, Reverend Jackson has been in the most hostile settings with political allies and political foes. It was just part of the job as a member of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s inner circle. And it was dangerous. Well, you pick up the phone and, hi, little girl, hi. Is your father home? No, he's not. He was wearing a trench coat this morning. Yes, sir. Well, you know, just you should call him at the office because if he comes home, I'm going to blow his effing head off. Okay. But it was in these hostile spaces that she learned how the art of conversation can drive the civil rights movement forward. Everybody, let's talk about uh, Ahmaud Arbery. What is going on with that case? The Santita Jackson Show, broadcast from Chicago on the nation's largest progressive talk radio station, is her latest vehicle to do so. Are you trying to move the needle? I'm trying to do the best that I can. And you do that one person at a time. Uh, what I hope to bring to the conversation is illumination. Americans have a heritage of the vote no other nation on earth can match. Starting with a value, she says, has been forgotten. We're not teaching civics anymore. And with the loss of civics, you've lost civility. According to a 2016 survey by the Annenberg Public Policy Center, one in four Americans can't name the three branches of government. We've got to grow up in our politics and grow the movement forward. Because I think that um, people are beginning to see that, um, that we've all been slighted. Another point she sheds light on. We're the canaries in the mine. And I think that the civil rights movement, I hope, has helped America to see that. That the most vulnerable populations, whether it's black people or indigenous people, whether it's women, whoever it is, but particularly black people, because we're the readily identifiable other in America. That it's me today, it's you tomorrow. We're the canaries in the mine. We let you know where things are going.